in this step-by-step -step tutorial we are going to look into the basics of LED edit software for this tutorial I'm going to use LED edit 2014 version you can use LED edit 2014 or a later version links are in the description if you want to download it okay after you install it double click on the desktop icon this is the LED edit interface the first step is to create a new project you can click on this new project icon or you can go to file and select new project in the new project window you can see a list of controllers followed by the drive chip numbers if your controller and the drive chip number not in this list don't worry about it click on the select controller button here you have a list of all the controllers and the drive chip numbers that supported by LED Edit 2014 version. You can collapse these items by clicking on this minus sign. You can expand these items by clicking on this plus sign. If you collapse all these items, you can see a list of controllers. Expand the controller you are about a program select the item that have your controller name plus the drive chip number in my case my control is 2000B and my pixel LED drive chip number is WS2811 I'm going to select it now it's time to add it to the list click on the item and click on the add to button as you can see it has been added to this list which is the same list on the previous window you can remove items from this list by selecting the item that you want to remove and click on remove button ok click ok now you can see the list has been updated the point of creating your own regular use of controller list so you don't have to go through this list just to select the controller and the trial chip okay you can easily select from here and move forward okay i'm going to select my controller plus the drive chip number and as you can see as you select these items some settings will appear on the right side of the window some settings are not available depending on the drive chip and the controller okay so my controller is 2000B max number of lights per each port is 2048 and it has only one port PWM polarity means the polarity of the PWM signal the frame rate depends on the number of pixels you are controlling if you're controlling more than 512 pixels you have to select a frame rate less than 20 frames per second and if you're controlling less than 512 pixels per port you can select a frame rate more than 20 frames per second up to 30 frames per second the sequence of channel means the order of color channels i'm gonna leave it as rgb always read the pixel led drive chip data sheet before changing these settings you can save your file the project file click on the browse button type the name for your project and click on save okay click on ok okay the next step is to create the layout the layout is the graphical representation of your physical LED placement layout is very important so you can see how it would be look like in real world in your software interface so this part is critical there are several methods you can create your layout you can manually layout so you can import a cxp file you can import a dxf autocad file you can import a core draw dxf file 
or you can auto layout okay these are the options I have discussed these two in my previous lessons for this tutorial I'm going to use auto layout which is kind of easy in auto layout you can create a square or rectangular shape layout so if you're creating a LED wall or LED display that is square or rectangular in shape you can go with this option I'm going to create a 32 by 32 square shaped LED layout type the amount of LED pixels on the horizontal plane which is the amount of LEDs along this axis vertical pixel which means the number of LEDs on the vertical plane which is the number of LEDs along this axis max number of lights for each port in my case I'm going to connect 1024 pixel LEDs on my control port pattern means the connecting pattern which means how each of these pixels going to be connected together as you can see with your selection this image changes it is how you do your wiring in your physical product so this step is important if you select this and do your wiring like this it will be upside down image so it should be the same as you see in this image all right I'm going to select under the left vertical and click OK. Here's your layout. As you can see, there is an item on my layout tab. It says P1, which means port 1, and 1024 pixels. C1, P1 means control 1, and port 1. If you expand this item, you can select each individual pixel. Next step is to create the program click on the program tab as you can see program 1 is already on the list you can add more programs by clicking on the add button type a name and click ok I'm going to add another program click on add and type a name and click ok alright now we have three programs all empty in LED programming means recording video or recording the screen so I'm about to record some videos in each of these programs okay I'm going to select the program one first in order to record a video we have to play the video click on video effect and you have several options you can open a video you can open a with animation or you can open a tol animation on your hard disk and there are also these sample animations you can use them also but i'm going to open a video click on open video all right here's uh, i have a list of animations if you want these animations you can download it the links are in the description All right I'm going to select an animation from this list okay okay I'm going to select one and click open okay as you can see this is a play window and you can see how it's look like on your layout you can zoom out your layout and zoom in your layout using these two buttons the video is being played and still we are not recording it in order to record this video you have this button here the key is to wait until the frame that you want to record and as soon as that frame being played on this player here you click on this record button okay let's say I want to select the first frame around first frame of this animation I'm going to wait until the first frame alright 
Okay, as you can see, the video is being recorded. Number is increasing. All right, I'm going to stop it around 200. All right. In order to stop the recording, you can click on this stop record button. Now it's still playing, but we recorded the video. In order to stop the video being played, click on the stop button, the blue stop button. Okay, it says close video effect. Now back to the layout mode. In order to play it or check out what's recorded, double click on the program one icon O. Select the program and select the edit preview. As you can see, this is what has been recorded. We have this time slider. You can click and hold your left mouse button and drag it left and right. And you can reach to a frame that you want to edit. Okay, the current frame will be displayed here. And uh, this is the timeline. You can select each individual frame in your animation or video or you can select multiple frames by clicking and hold your left mouse button and drag it towards left or right so in order to edit this animation there are several things we can do you can delete frames you can cut and paste frames or you can copy let's say I want to delete all the frames about 200 okay all right this is the 200th frame there are several methods you can delete those frames you can click and hold your left mouse button and drag it towards the end and now i selected all these frames i can right click and select delete there is another way you can do that go to edit preview and select delete and you get this window so this one says the starting frame and this is the ending frame let's say i want to delete the first 20 frames this button says first frame all right Second time, alright. First one. The last frame is 20. And this button says the last frame. So this button will fill this text field with the last frame number. Alright, 199. I only want to delete the 20th frame until the 20th frame. Alright, this button says OK. This button says Cancel. I'm going to select OK. Alright, if you want to delete all the frames in this program, you have to go back to the layout mode. So in order to exit this mode, you have to press this stop button right here. And now you are back in the layout mode. Click on the program that you want to delete all the frames. Go to edit preview and select clear. Click OK. I'm going to do the same to the program 2 and 3. Instead of a video file, I'm going to use a sample effect. Let's say I do want to copy the first 20 frames to the end of this animation I'm going to pause this video if you want to pause you click on this pause button now I'm going to copy the first 20 frames you can hold your left mouse button and drag it to your right until it reach the 20th frame all right the first 20 frames being selected I'm going to right click on that frames and I'm going to select copy you can also cut I'm going to copy and I'm going to 
edit preview and select paste which will ask you to type the frame number that you want to paste these frames after if you click on this button this will select the first frame of your program and if you select this button which will select the last frame of your program so I want the last frame I'm going to select this button and I'm going to click OK now we have 143 frames so these are the things you can do you can go step by step using this button you can go previous frames you can go to the next frames and you can play you can stop or exit the edit preview mode it will ask you do you want to save and click on yes all right you are back in the layout mode the next step is to export these programs to export these programs click on the export button you have several options you can export the lead effect you can export the instructions you can export it as SWF animation you can export it as AVI video file you can export the layout you can export the layout as bitmap or you can export offline player file which is a bin file in my case I just want to export it to the SD card and play it on my controller click on the export LED effect uh, which will give you this window you can change the brightness of each channel using these sliders you can change the sequence of color channels I'm going to leave it as default I'm going to click OK so it will ask you for a location in my case I'm going to give the direct path to the SD card select the SD card and click OK okay there are several other features you can play text animations and you can record your screen things like that so I will discuss these features in the future lessons for now that's it if you want the more detailed version of this lesson visit my website if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment